morning. It's a uh, one day weekend again, which is getting rather frustrating to be honest. I'm actually craving a change of scenery off that Watford job because it just keeps dragging on and on and on. It's not a straightforward build, like I said last week, because of all the cables through the floor, the walls, the ceilings, so many people on the job tripping up each other. We've had to put in an extra window. We had to build it with the internal wall, like it was supposed to have, but then obviously the guy wanted to change to make it a toilet. So we built the wall, cut the wall out to make it into a separate toilet room. But it's, it's slowly getting there. I think we might get a change of scenery this coming week though, because we're going somewhere else to do something. But it's only so many trains that you can look at all day long, and it is just so annoying. But going back to like this, I have one day, to do something and I have to do something rather important. I'll talk about everything that's going on a bit later on. Obviously Violet's babies, they're all fledged and they're doing like what mischievous young babies do and they're all pretty little birds. Uh, but what I have to do, which can't be put off till next week at all, is I have around about 12 little fuzzy finches in their nests, which uh, probably over the next 10 days or so will start to try and jump ship. So what I'm going to have to do is, because you know I've got quails on the floor, and I have a constant problem with the quails disliking fledgling finches. Budgies, fine, because they're big and bright. But the finches, once they leave the nest and they flutter to the floor, the quails take a great big dislike into them and just go gung-ho and start pecking at them to the point where they can kill them quite quickly. So what I'm going to do today, because I have nothing else to do on my day off, one and only day off, I'm going to build some kind of, like, quail holding cage in there so i've been out this morning and i've bought a roll of like green plastic garden mesh uh, and as you know i've got an abundance of timber on the shed roof so i'm just going to knock up a frame which i can put in there so that when these fl uh, finches fledge and even if they fall on top the quails can't get to them so they've got more chance of surviving and then they can be shipped off to the new homes when they've survived trouble is Obviously, I've only got a small door, so I might have to prep all my timber out here, get it all cut to size. I've made a detailed drawing of the measurements that I need, so I think I'm all good to go. But then I'm going to have to take it all in there and build it in there because I don't think I'll be able to fit it in there. So that's the plan. I'm going to do that today. I've took a bit of a gamble building this much of it outside the aviary. But I'm pretty confident with a little bit of twisty shimmy action going on, I'll be able to turn this around and get it inside. But I am going to have to build the rest of it in there, definitely. That's actually quite difficult with the birds in there to be honest very difficult indeed and the quails just get on your feet all the time i kind of underestimated how big it was and it didn't fit in at all so i had to kind of like unscrew it fold it run the risk with the double door system being open but got it in there so i've finally just got it in place got it set 
leave them to settle down now. I want the mothers to go back and feed the young and stuff. So give it about 20 minutes or so. And then I'll go in and finish the other end where I've got to do a bit more multi tolling And then, uh, yeah, should be good to like move the food and stuff in there. And hopefully the quails will enjoy their new home for a while. Yeah. for that well done then i did have a little bit of a problem though because when i was actually meshing up the end i thought oh i better put the food tray in here now and the water feeders because i won't be able to get them in and then i thought well how am i going to get them out to clean them and change water and food so i had to make a trap door which makes it a lot easier for emma as well so i can leave it open now and then i can shut it when i'm ready to house the quails which i don't know when when do i do it i mean the fuzzy little fledglings are nowhere near ready to come out probably at least another week but i don't want to get caught short and find a dead finch on the floor because i was complacent and didn't shut the door so i might just leave it probably a couple of three days then i'll round them all up like the pied piper shove them in shut the door they should be all right in there but yeah it went well and i've actually managed to salvage some sunday to myself it's only four o'clock in the afternoon which isn't bad don't know what to do with myself though because kids are on half term next week which means there's no uniforms or anything to iron i've got to make dinner and stuff because emma's work but they're just one of them things so bird wise what's happened in the last week since the last video mummy budgie has decided to have a hissy fit and kick all her eggs out again and she's been a bit of a bitch today i've caught her three or four times dangling a zebra finch upside down by its leg uh so yeah she just gets to a point where she's like no i don't want to sit on these anymore and she just goes off on one probably for about a day and she's fine again then she'll lay there and go oh i'm fine the other budgie in the other box that's now got five eggs in there so fingers crossed for them uh violets fledglings of all fledged like i said this morning they are all perfectly fine they're flying they're up down up down feeding and they just get that once they get their feet under the table as such they just have that confidence to just be naughty and mess around which is what they're doing and i quite like it but they obviously will be shipped on and sold on because there's way too many of them uh finch wise i have at least 12 fledglings fuzzy little fledglings uh five in that box one in that box five or six over there but i can't see that's what i say 11 or 12 i'm not sure i don't want to obviously move them the um bengalese finches that were nesting in the purple box under the mirror they kind of like had to retreat their box because it came out one evening in the week and one of the fledglings had landed on the front of the box and decided it's going to roost there for the night which you know it's kind of intimidating so the bengalese finches moved nest now i moved the budgie on bengalese finches didn't go back to the eggs so they're not doing nothing the other bengalese finches are sitting on a couple of eggs again not sure what's gonna happen with them the six uh, eggs that were in the end house at the trio you've got the trio wood box and at the end there were six eggs in there now I'll check them today and all of the eggs are broken they've been broken whether it's the parents i don't actually know who was sitting on them i haven't got a clue but they're all broken so i'm gonna have to remove them and uh, that's pretty much where we're at with the finchy stuff and everything going on so yeah i've obviously lost Vi uh, violet mummy budgies five eggs lost six eggs for some random reason and obviously three bengalese eggs because of the uh, late night rooster that decided to take the box but that's it sunday done off to work again in the morning as you do see where we're gonna end up this week i do believe we're gonna go to chester or somewhere which like i said i'm looking forward to a change of scenery from that watford job so thank you very much for watching my sunday episode don't forget if you're not subscribed just subscribe like the video turn on notifications all that stuff and i shall see you when i make another video which will be at some point in the near future enjoy the rest of your sunday goodbye